Hey Art fam, it's Luis Martin, the art engineer, and welcome, welcome to my favorite place in the world, welcome to the studio, uh, where the only competition here is who's having the most fun. All right, before we jump into this session, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and, and I want to give you a very special invitation to become a member. I don't do this enough. Um, I have two memberships, two ways that you can join the hashtag art fam, become a digital member, which is only $10 a month, and you get a collage kit in your email, in your inbox, and then you get to print it or you get to work on it on your computer. Now listen, you can go get your images anywhere in the world. So why join? Well, I'll tell you why. Uh, because we're a community, so you're not really buying collage material you're buying access to this community you're buying um love for me from me um because it's an exchange of energy right so when you support what i do i support what you do and then it's just a beautiful world um so consider becoming a member become a member and uh see what's on the other side there are tons of great uh art fam who um, do amazing things and you will want to connect with them. We also have the paper uh, subscription, which is $30. It's only available in the US. If you're anywhere else in the world, get the digital kit and that's even better because you get to meet other international people. Uh, so the digital uh, subscription is a great way to go. If you want to do the paper and you're in the US, go for it. That has all these other amazing things. We're not going to talk about that today. Today, we're going to talk about um, the digital kit because we are Unbo unboxing it. I'm going to share all of the wonderful things that are in this uh, month's September digital collage. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, you guys, um, what's happening? Do you see this beauty? Do you see this ridiculousness? Um, so every month I get to share some of my work on the cover of all of the kits. This time around, we did it a little bit different. There was an open call, which we do every so often. And uh, I invited artists to submit some work of their best of summer. And this was by Lindsay Henderson all the way in Canada. Uh, and I had a guest judge and uh, and they chose this one and look how beautiful it is. So now you get to have this. You get to put this on your wall for inspiration. You can even collage a collage, right? Um, so this is really exciting. Lindsay, beautiful. We've been staring at this all month and it just makes me so happy. Uh, what else do we have in here? Every month, you guys, every month I give you a collective image and a prompt. The collective image is a way that we can work as a community and we can work together. This month, I gave you something super effing cool. Do um, you want to see it? You see it already? It's a frame. It's a frame. And I'll tell you why it's so cool in a minute. Um, so this is fun because <laughs> this has all of the past uh, collective images of the year. We started in March. So we have a person, she was the first one, or this person was the first one. It could have been a man, I don't know. A pigeon, an instrument, a phone, the cats, a house. This time around, it's a frame. Um, okay, so why is this exciting? Hmm, why is it exciting? Because it's an invitation, my friends. This, everything I do is an invitation, right? Everything I do is a door. As an artist, we get to do these things. Um, and as an educator, as a magical person that I am and that you are now that you are here, um, art is not just about making something pretty. It's about really making doors and setting up for future things. And I'll tell you about that a little bit later because I got some beautiful, um, stories to share about some members. At any rate, so this is a frame. Now this frame is special because I'm asking you, I'm inviting you to take this frame, cut it out and look around. Look around at your familiar spaces and look at it with a different view. This is a viewfinder essentially. And what happens when you do that? You find yourself in a new place, even though it's the same place. And you can do that as a magical person. So. Here's another thing, when you're looking at art, right, and I've said this before, when you're looking at art, at a painting or something new and you're confused by it, don't be like, ew, don't, don't be put off because you don't find it, you don't find the, the resonance right away, quite the opposite. Take a little viewfinder, it could, just, it could be this, you know, this is why cinematographers do this, um, and just, just see what, what, where you can find yourself. Is it in a color, in a shape, in a shadow? step back, move forward, and you'll find that it's kind of just like when you're at the doctor 
for the eye exam, right? It comes into focus and when it clicks, it just clicks and you can see and feel and taste everything, right? I mean, imagine I find um, as a short brown man with dyslexia that it, when I make certain shifts in my life, when I find a t-shirt that fits, I feel like I'm top of the world, right? I, because it just takes these little shifts to make the world fit you, not you trying to fit into the world. Does that make sense? I hope it does because it's a magical key. All right, so we're, I'm gonna play with this. I'm gonna make a pile of things that I'm definitely gonna play with. So I'm definitely gonna play with this um, beautiful frame. Now, when you get the digital kit, obviously it's not on paper, you have to print it yourself. So that's cool because you can print multiples of them, right? And you can only, and you maybe only print the ones that you like. Uh, a very important thing about this is that it's copyright free. So you don't have to worry about anybody coming after you, except for the cover, that's Lindsay's. Um, you can reprint this, you can make prints, you can make copies, you can sell them, sell them. You are a moneymaker, my friend. You are, as artists, we print money, okay? So do not fear, play with this, sell it. That's what I want you to do. Um, so this is beautiful. This is from a restaurant that I went to. And a lot of these are my pictures, right? Because I travel, um, not as much as I want to or, or will, but um, I live in New York City and it's the most exciting city I've ever been to. So I don't get bored. Um, funny story. I took this picture walking down the street with my friend and I'm like, oh, how beautiful it's New York. There was literally a man with a red hat, with a t-shirt blasting horrible rhetoric. And I just, the contrast was just so amazing. But again, that is the world that I live in and I get to make sense of that and get to funnel the beauty out of that, right? So at any rate, um, look at this. It's the snake charmer, you guys. This is, this is just beautiful. Um, maybe I'll just put this on my wall and live with this. Wow, I love that image. Um, this is beautiful. This is, I think this is Miami. I don't know, but I'm gonna use this. This is a wall of stickers. There's a lot of stickers here in New York. We're all trying to leave our mark. I didn't leave any here, but I thought this was a beautiful texture, right? Um, so this is fun to play with. Prostitution. Um, do you know what this is? I've talked about this. This is shorthand. I love shorthand. Uh, look into it if you don't know about it. Uh, I mean, what else do you want in life? Look at this. This is beautiful. Aborigine. I mean, I mean, it gets better. All right. So what I want you to do, just like I said, with the finding yourself in the artwork, when you make collages, find your proxy, right? This is your Fine. Are you this person or are you this person? Or perhaps you're this person. I don't know. Uh, I think we'll be different things, different people in our lives at different times. Uh, but they're, this is the fun part. You get to kind of be whatever you want to be, right? So I like, I love my pigeon. Frida, we're looking for you. Where are you? Um, and then we got this guy. This guy, this is from a picture, of course, that I took not in Italy. I took it in the Italy of the United States, which is what? Las Vegas. <laughs> Horrible. Um, at any rate, so this is kind of fun, right? Um, I mean, I I can sit here and talk forever because look at this, compare and contrast, right? Like, what's the difference? What are the ideals of beauty here? What are the ideals of beauty here? Uh, and where do they overlap? Where do they differ? I mean, let's talk, right? We can talk forever. But no, we're here for collagen. So I'm going to come on, say... Avec the frame. How are you? All right, um, let me know what's going on. I get a lot of messages uh, that I eventually get to. Thank you for your patience. And I get a lot of DMs. The DMs are harder because I have to put on my glasses. Um, but thank you for reaching out. And um, I really appreciate all the love I am receiving uh, for my current project, which is uh, the Arcana. I finally did it, you guys. Um, they're ready to go. As a matter of fact, this comes out on Thursday. Tomorrow it's available to the general public. Uh, I only printed 40 sets uh, and um, the art fam, the members get early access. So I hope, uh, I hope everybody gets one. Um, and honestly, this is something that's really special to me because I've been around magic. I've been around tarot all of my life. Um, 
So to be able to contribute to this conversation in my own way uh, is really life affirming. Like all of a sudden I feel so actualized really and, and without having sold any, just the fact that I made it, I created it and it's out in the world um, does something, right? And it's the same thing when you're an artist, really, when you create something and and once you're done, yes, that feels good. But also I must say, when you are validated, and I don't like to use that word because I, I do not seek validation. And I think that's a very dangerous thing to look for. But when you get it, it, it is very lovely. Um, but then you let it go, right? You're like, okay, thank you. I appreciate it, but let me get back to work. Uh, because I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm very mission driven. Um, and that's a beautiful thing, right? I, I'm never bored. I'm never feeling too down for too long because I always remember I got something to do. All right. So just like I've said about cutting intricate things, don't worry about it being too perfect. At the end of the day, um, you just want to create an illusion. You don't want to create perfection. So it's in between right now, right? It's we're in the in between. It's not fall. It's not summer. It's kind of just in the middle, which is kind of nice. Uh, all right. So this, when you're cutting things like this, take your time because this is when art and the process of collage and the process of anything really can become meditative, right? I have some friends out there who are um, who are maneuvering, I want to say, some tough situations, and I know they find strength in their art. So if you can set aside, you know, 15 minutes just to cut something out, really, um, it'll go a long way in, in the way of self-care, right? So when we collage, we're not sick. When we collage, we make art. When we sing, when we dance, for that brief moment, uh, we're unstoppable, right? So try to give yourself that. Mes amis. Okay. I feel like I have to be quiet because this feels like such a meditative uh, moment. And it almost feels like this frame is kind of trying to convey something to me. I don't know what. It's history, perhaps. It's from Spain, so it has a lot to say. <laughs> okay, so I don't like using rulers, but I'm just going to use it for for Pete's sake. Okay. Some more. And as I'm doing this, check this out. This is uh, something that Joanne LaFrance, who is also in Canada, uh, created with the frame as she's checking out the world. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? When you give in to play and creativity, you will find that you live in a beautiful space, that we live in a beautiful world. Or not. Look at this. Voila. Look, it's my forehead. <laughs> okay, so this is brilliant. So I'm, I'm, now it's like, okay, what do I want to put in, in my world, right? Do I want to put, oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, so this now is literally a viewfinder. So take this um, and look around, look around your room, look around your, your city. Really, if you can't leave your house, just put it to your window and, um, and see what you find outside your window. As I'm looking out my window now, I'm looking at a park, I'm looking at a church. Uh, when I frame it, what happens, right? All of a sudden that becomes the center of my attention. And when you give your attention to something, it becomes powerful, right? So you want to be cool? Turn this into an, a self-portrait experiment. Put it in different parts of your body. What does that feel like, right? Um, we got deep there. Uh, because you are a work of art. You are your own work of art. You're your greatest work of art, really. Okay, so you guys, I'm... I'm I'm going there. Okay, so where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Um, I like this guy, but I think he's gotten enough attention. 
uh, David. But then I love this guy, but I want him to be free. And then I love a disco ball. Yee, that's kind of fun, you guys. I also send you multiple sizes just in case you want to play. But if you have the digital, you can just, you know, print it to your own heart's desire. Um, this is cool. Okay, um, you know what? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. And this is this might be the shortest video, honestly, because I think I have everything that I need. Okay. I need to find new music, you guys. You saw that? I try, I tried to play music the other day and I realized that it just didn't work because I get too involved in the music and then I want to sing, then I want to dance. It's not a good thing, you guys. So sometimes things are the way they are for a reason, but you won't know unless you investigate, right? So go investigate. Because then you'll always wonder. Okay, okay, okay. Don't let me sing. So also, the magic is, um, I just noticed this and it's annoying me, you guys. I need to, I know we're talking about not being perfect, but listen, I want to sell an illusion and this is killing my illusion. Um, the magic is also in what you bring to the table, right? I'm giving you the window, I'm giving you the frame, now you need to bring in the magic. So, how do you bring in the magic, you wonder? Look around, you already have tons of stuff. You're probably a hoarder like me. Um, but look what I have under my mat. I have a bunch of these pre-cut uh, squares. So maybe I'll, no, they're not squares, they're triangles. And maybe I'll incorporate them somewhere. But I already saw that they clash with the, with the frame, which will annoy me. But guess what? I'm an artist and I get to change that around if I wanted to. How about them apples? Huh, how would I do that? Let's play. Ah. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it needs to sell the illusion, right? So that, that was poking through. Okay. Okay, so I want, I don't like this is so yellow because then it, it, it clashes with that. So look what I'm gonna do. I have... Might as well show you. I have this little box of just beautiful markers, and I have a china marker. I think I can. Can I? Yes. Look at that. I'm, and I'm not going to be precious about it. I'm just. I just want to dull it a little bit. I don't want it to be so shiny. And again, I'm. I'm just playing, you guys. I don't know what's going to happen. This isn't going to the Louvre just yet. So. But you see what's happening? I'm bringing down the tone, I'm bringing down the, the heat. Um, and all of a sudden it's not as shiny because I wanna bring, I wanna put the shinier things inside. Check that out. So don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid to bring in other materials, right? I have the hardest time collaging and painting together because in my head it just doesn't jive. But it does. You just have to keep experimenting. I have a phobia of getting my hands dirty, and I think that's what stops me. Look at that. Oh, man. Okay. And then you can just go in and give it some shadow. Ooh, ooh, ooh I love this. And you only get better when you experiment more, right? Because then you are learning the tricks from here that you can apply to other stuff. Oh, man. Yes. You can't see the mermaid anymore, but it's okay. She lives at Starbucks. She doesn't need any more attention. Ah, love this. Okay, so you see now it doesn't clash as much in my eyes anyway. No, it really doesn't. Okay, parfait. Yes. Okay, so look, I love this pigeon because I don't know why people are so afraid of pigeons, you guys. I know they're dirty and... and don't be mean. They're, they're creatures. Come on. Um, so let me cut out Frida or Frida's sister. Who was Frida's sister's name? She was a jerk. I'm just kidding. I know too much about Frida Kahlo, you guys. I need to not know so much about Frida Kahlo. Okay, here we go. Did you watch the movie Frida? It was actually really well done and it 
it reads just like her biography. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing, I think. My favorite scene is when they dance tango. Oh my god, I love tango. There's this beautiful song called Vuelvo al Sur, I Return South. And it is the most beautiful song. It's by Astor Piazolas, I believe. Uh, but one of my favorite bands, uh, Gotan Project, did a cover and it's kind of electronic. Ugh. That's on repeat in my house as well. It's so funny, I was talking to my friend Lewis on Instagram and he's like, hey, you like Sade, right? And I was literally listening to Sade like on, on repeat. As he texts me, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I think I'm a little predictable, you guys. All right, here we go. So I have these, and the coolest thing you can do is create patterns. So listen, if, you have, if you're stuck and you're bored, just create one thing that you can repeat over and over and see where it takes you. Um, but you know me, I, I, I don't just wanna do that. I, it, needs to, it needs to mean something, you guys. I don't wanna exist just to exist. Look at that. Now it's all roads lead to freedom. Ooh, yes. Okay, this is good. Because now all of a sudden there's like direction, right? Sorry, can you see because of my hand? Okay, this is something. Yes. Ooh. Okay, good. Um, I like using the frenemy when it's something like this one, when I kind of can't be bothered for too long. Um, why can't I be bothered right now? I don't know. I just don't feel like being bothered, so... <laughs> oh no! Talking smack. You know what I watch too? Alright, don't roll your eyes at me. You know I'm probably the least hip-hop person you'll ever meet, but I watch Ladies First, which is a documentary series on the ladies of hip-hop. Oh my goodness. Well, you know how gay men are, are enamored with strong women. This documentary is full of strong black women who have been whipping butt um, and have really not gotten the recognition. If if you're into, you know, unsung heroes and, and just amazingness, go check out this. It's called Ladies First it's on Netflix. I can't get over it, you guys. Especially living in New York, uh, you know. These, it, it, well, no, just living, really. Just go check it out and let me know what you think. I'm the, le the least hip hop person you'll ever meet. <laughs> okay, um, so I have these guys that I'm not bored of using just yet. But you know what? I'm going to give it a rest because I do have other stuff. Again, look at your arsenal. I promise you, you have all this magic that you have not used under your bed, in your closet, under your mat. I have letters. I have letters, you guys. <gasps> X, I love X, it's my favorite letter. Is it? I guess it is, right, okay. X marks the spot, Mizumi. I don't know what's wrong with me with, with this French stuff. <laughs> okay, here we go. See how I cut it? I just, I just needed to do something. Ooh. Also, take note that I don't have a substrate, right? I love doing that. I love creating collages from the middle out because then I'm not constricted by the substrate. I can go anywhere I want and then I'll find the substrate. So try doing that and see if that works. I could put it here, but I don't want to block my palm tree. So I'm going to put it here. Oh man, okay. Frida, are you done? I think you're done. Shh, that, was, that was fast. Okay. I'm already getting messages. I'm already getting the symbolism of it all. Um, I feel good. I feel like I need, I just want to put something else. I got this guy. This is the best tool you can have. Confetti, who doesn't love party. And look what happens. I don't know what happens. Oh, you know what I'd like to do, you guys? We'll play. We got time. You got time? Okay, it kind of disappears, which is fine. But what if I put it outside the frame? 
all of a sudden we're talking about breaking that fourth wall, right? We're talking about, wait a minute, I will not be contained. And that is where the magic is. Ooh. This is going somewhere. I'm listening to hip hop in my head now. <laughs> Uh, okay, the best hip hop album. Go! If you said The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, you are so right. If you just went through a breakup, if you need some wisdom, listen, everything in that album is amazing. The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, holy mother of God. This woman was tapped, tapped to the divine. Go listen to it, every word is like, one thing that always stayed, stayed in my head was, how are you going to win when you ain't right within? How are you going to win when you ain't right within? Oh my god. Gotta get right to win. Alright. This is going to be the hip-hop episode. <laughs> All right, I need to stop. I need to stop. I know. I'm sorry. Um. Okay. Okay. Yes. See what's happening now? When you put the same image on top of the same image it's very subtle but it's very effective so when someone sees it up close they're gonna be like oh wow does anybody else see this and then they're gonna feel special that you left them a little special note guys <sighs> yes, i want to do a little bit more got time just a little bit more because something's happening <laughs> sorry i'm still laughing about the hip-hop episode. This being the hip-hop episode. The least hip-hop thing ever. Doop 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 is what I'm saying. Okay. But that's the beautiful thing, right? You don't have to be one thing or anything to enjoy. You respect, you enjoy, you appreciate, you give credit, and the world is yours. Okay. Yes, this is something. Okay, I'm done. Let's make room. This is from the digital collage kit, um, and I brought this with me that I found under my mat. So why does this work? Holy coolness. So I took the frame, and this is a beautiful exercise. Again, I'll reiterate, if you're bored, that's a choice. Just look around and you will be surprised if you literally take a viewfinder with your little fingers or with an actual frame and look around and experiment and see um, with a different view from a different angle. Um, that's what I did here. I took the image of the palm trees and my little pigeon and kind of created, I don't know, it almost seems like she's going somewhere, right? So it, it reminds me of a game. It reminds me of playing those Nintendo games, which is where I stopped playing games. Um, but it's very much about choice, the choice of adventure, right? Am I going this way? Am I going that way? Am I going up? Am I going down? X marks the spot because I'm there, right? There's nowhere really to go other than where I am, ever. So this is my collage. And again, it got really deep really fast and I love it. Um, I also love the sense of this reality of this space kind of disintegrating and spreading, right? So disintegrate your space, spread it around, because um, that's what we do. All right, you guys, uh, I am Luis Martin, the art engineer. But before I leave, I, I said I wanted to share a little magic uh, story with you. Uh, we have an art fam in Las Vegas. Her name is Denise Chong, and Denise created this. And... Uh, I'm not sure where she got the music, but we always send music to our members. She's been uh, a founding member, actually. She's been with us forever. And uh, as everybody, we evolve, right? She started learning music. So now she made a collage and she saw it and she said, oh my God, I now understand and can read what I made a collage of. She could read the music now. That is absolute magic. Not the fact that she learned, but the fact that she had 
the insight to create her future in a collage. That's magic. So get ahead of yourself. Don't be afraid to use things that you don't know about yet. Things that possibly scare you, right? If you see a picture of Paris and you're like, oh, I want to go there, but I can't afford it. Nope, don't say that. Put it in your artwork. Put yourself in there first. And you'll see in a few minutes, in a few weeks, in a few years, the opportunity will present itself. But you kind of have to get there first, right? So that's me sharing a little magic uh, that I really, really believe in. So join me at collagedream.com, become a member, become a hashtag art fam, and get your hands on the Reese Martin Arcana. All right, I will see you here, I will see you there, and everywhere you take your phone. Cheers.